Hello everybody, I've had quite a few requests lately to make a simple beginner's plugin tutorial so I am going to do just that. So alright, this is assuming that you have basically no knowledge of Java or bucket plugins or the API or anything so ooh, email, interesting. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is download Eclipse. Eclipse is a program that you use to code, it's called an IDE. So go to eclipse.org Go to download, and then download the top one right here, the IDE for developers. So, alright, so you download that, install it, open it up and everything, and you'll have something that looks like a program like this, but this area here will be blank. Alright, you need one more thing. You're going to want to go to dl.bucket.org slash downloads slash bucket. Right there. Download the latest recommended build, and just keep that know where it is. Alright, so then what you want to do once you have Eclipse open is go to New Java Project. I'm going to do Custom Messages because I told the people on my server that if they donated so much I would give them custom login messages. Alright, so now what you want to do, first thing that I always do is import the Bucket API. What this will allow you to do is uh, allow you to build off of Bucket so it knows that it's a plugin. So you go to right click your project folder, properties, Java build path, add external jars. Then what I do is I have mine on a nice folder in my C drive right here, separated by version. You just want the bucket, whatever yours is named right there, I just rename mine to bucket and craft bucket without the long numbers, the snapshot numbers after them and everything. So all right open. Alright, so then you'll see it right there. So now your plugin here is building off of that. So then what you're going to want to do is create your package. What I always do is me.shock, then whatever the uh, plugin name is, and I always do all lowercase. Uh, what the package does it, is it makes it so your plugin, uh, the path to your classes is unique to your plugin, so no other plugins on the server is going to access it, basically. So finish, then you're going to have this little blank package here. Create a new class. I'm just going to call mine main. A lot of people like to uh, name it whatever their plugin is, but I, for clarification, I just like to keep it as main. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is make your main class extend the Java plugin. So then what you'll see is, oh no, it's underlined in red. Must have done something wrong. No, nope, you just hover over it, import the Java plugin. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add methods. Methods are called when something happens, or you can call them yourselves. So the first one is public void on enable. Pay attention to the capitalization, the on enable, it has to be exactly like that. This method right here is called in the class that extends Java plugin. This is a class, main, um, whenever the server starts up or is reloaded. All right, then public void on disable is called whenever the server is stopped or reloaded safely, not when it crashes. So, all right, we don't need to do anything with that right now, but we will in a minute. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to create a listener, something that allows the plugin to listen to an event or, you know, know what's going on. So you can have it listen to, you know, like when a player dies, when, I don't know, somebody teleports, something like that, but we're just going to listen to, um, whenever a player logs in. So what you're going to want to do is do add event handler. Let the uh, plugin know that we're handling an event. Then you're going to do public void and then I'm just going to do on join. This part right there is completely arbitrary. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to do player join event event. Pay attention to the capitalization there. Alright, so then what you have to do is you have to import the event handler. Import the player join event. Alright, so now Every time a player joins, whatever is inside of these brackets here will happen. So, all right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do player player equals event dot get player. What this does, player you want to import that is an object. So you're getting the player object. You're assigning it the name player in lowercase here. And then what you do is you do event dot get player. So because we call the player join event event. If we ever want to get something from the event, we just do event, and then you can do dot, and then it will tell you the stuff you can do with it. The join event doesn't do that much, so we're just going to do get player for now. So, alright. So, then we're going to do string, which is like text, 
name equals player dot get name. So what this does is it gets the player and then it actually gets our name. This right here gets the player object. So that's used for different things. So then we're going to create an if statement, which is done. So if and then whatever is inside of the parentheses here is true, it'll execute whatever is in the brackets after it. So if name dot equals ignore case, we're going to do, since the one person that told me what they wanted was Alan Trew, whatever, we're going to do that. All right, so now we have that. And then whatever happens inside, if this is true right here, it'll execute what's in these brackets. So, Alan True wanted the join message to be Alan True joined run in light blue. So we're going to do event dot set join message chat color dot aqua because I'm pretty sure that was a color. Uh, Alan True joined run. All right. So what this will do? Or we have to import chat color. So the easiest way to do color in a plugin is just do chat color dot, and then it'll tell you the different plugin or different colors that you can do, and it'll also tell you like bold and all the different formats. But we're just going to leave it at aqua for now because I'm pretty sure that's what Alan wanted. So, all right, we're going to add another one so I can show you that it works. I'm just going to add my name in here. Event dot set join message. You see how I like once it knows like which uh, what I'm trying to do with it after I type the dot there. Like if I type the dot, I just type set like that, and then I press enter, and it auto completes. We'll do chat color dot gold. Um, dear T shock has arrived. All right. So what this does is it grabs a join message and then it sets it to this. So whatever the normal join message is will now be replaced by this. So, all right. So then, if this is, you know, if the name is Alan True, it does this. If the name's Dirty Shock, it does this. Other than that, it doesn't do anything. So, all right. We still haven't registered this listener. The plugin knows that it's a listener, but it isn't registered. So what we have to do, in any class that has event handler and listens to something, you have to implement listener, just like that. And then you have to import the listener. Make sure you have correct spacing. All right. So then we have to grab the plugin manager um, equals get server dot get plugin manager. So this basically allows you to register the event. So pm dot register event. The listener is this, and the plugin is this. So all right. So because the listener class is the class we're in right now and the plugin class is the class we're in right now. If we had the listener in a different class, we would like say new listener, we would do like new listener, listener class this because it would implement the main class. But I'll show you guys that later because that's a little bit more complicated, but not that bad. So, all right, if you think you're done, but you're not quite, you still have to create a plugin.yml file. So you have to go to new file clicking on the custom messages package. You want to click on your package. It has to be in the right spot. And it has to be called plugin.yml, all lowercase, just like that. So I use Notepad++. So what you're going to want to do is name, colon, and the name of the plugin. And what you're going to want to do, author, um, main. All right, so name, main, and version are the three re most important ones. I think they're required. I'm not sure. So main is me.shock.customMessages so you want to have it be your package so whatever your package is then you want to do dot your main class so mine is just main so we're going to do version alright I always whenever I'm only making one version of something I always do that just because alright we don't have any commands so we don't have to register anything else here so you save it close it make sure that it's outside of your package and inside of your uh, just inside of your project folder. You have to right click on it, click refresh, or just hit F5 so that way all the folders or all the files are in sync with each other. Make sure that it's saved. Alright, this should be good for exporting. So then you just right click, export, jar file, deselect everything except for your plugin.yml. Then we're going to name it custom messages inside of my test folder plugins. Alright, finish. 
so it exported it. All right, so now if you see it's inside of my test server right there, we'll start it up. And you'll see that we didn't add any messages in the on enable here, like some people do, is really annoying. If you look at it right here, enabling custom messages v69, bucket automatically gives messages. So plugins that do that, it's kind of annoying. There are certain situations that you want it to do, but I don't know, I think it's annoying. So all right, let's join the server. And let's see if it gives me that login message. My uh, Minecraft has been pretty dang slow since I came to school. It takes forever to join a server. I'm not sure why. If anybody knows, I would uh, love the help. All right, and there it is. DRT Shock has arrived. So that is from only this code right here. So all of this stuff except for this, that's unnecessary. So I will just add, add onto this for the rest of the people on my server for whatever they want it to be. But all right, guys, that's uh, all there really is to it. Pretty, uh, pretty basic. If you have any questions or comments or requests for, fu for future videos, let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, that's it.